Yeah. Just ding, ding, ding. Never uh, wants to start. Uh. Is your lawnmower also not starting? Well, don't sweat it. We got you covered. Today, we're going to walk you through what to do to get that lawnmower to start up really quickly and really easily. Gas internal combustion engines basically rely on three factors, fuel, oxygen, and fire. One of those three things is not coming to the engine and that's why it's not starting. So we're going to go through those three factors really, really quick and show you how to get that motor running like new again. So come on over. The first thing that's probably your problem, especially if it's been a long winter or it's been in storage for a while, is probably your fuel. Now gasoline goes bad, so it's always best to add a fuel stabilizer to your gas, like stable or different fuel stabilizers. You should do that in your little gas tank every time you fill it up. The other thing you should do is get non-ethanol fuel. Ethanol is kind of tough on these smaller engines. Non-ethanol fuel is about a dollar more a gallon. You're not going to break the bank on it, but it will keep these running better. But let's pretend that you did both of those or you didn't. Another thing you can do is add some sort of fuel treatment. I like this seafoam stuff. I'm not sponsored by them, but they go ahead. This will clean your carb jets. It'll stabilize the fuel. It'll really up the, uh, the performance. And it's not very particular. So you can go ahead right now. You're having trouble. Let's add a couple ounces of this seafoam straight to your gas tank. It doesn't have to be measured exactly. And what that's going to do is once we get started, it's going to help to clean out the system so you don't have a problem next time. So that's number one is fuel. Number two, oxygen. You're going to have an air filter somewhere on your, on your gas lawnmower. So find your air filter and pull it off. And this one, if you look at it, it is filthy. So this needs oxygen to come in here. And if you can see, it's covered in dirt and debris and everything else. You can buy replacements, but you can also just go ahead and just try to kind of clean it up. Probably best to, you know, not put all over yourself. But you can see this is really filthy. So the better you can clean this, the better the air is going to get sucked into there. Now, along with making sure you have good airflow, you can also, especially if it's been a little while since it's gotten started, you can add straight into your air intake a little bit of engine starting fluid. There's different brands of these. This one's from Walmart, I think, but you can also get them online or in a hardware store. And you're just gonna go ahead and spray like one or two little sprays into your air intake. So do that, take your cleaned out filter, snap it back on, and then you're gonna put back on your cover. That's gonna make a huge difference. So more than likely, it was one of those two issues that was causing your lawnmower not to start. But the third issue can be, can be fire. So you're gonna find your spark plug, which is right here. It's gonna be a different place in different gasoline engines. Pull the spark plug cover off, and then take a spark plug wrench, and you're gonna get that right off. So once you get your spark plug off, this is probably not going to be your problem. Normally your spark plug is going to be okay, but we can check it. We can make sure it's not too gunked up. We can also take a steel bristle brush and clean the edge to see if there's any deposit on it. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then if you're still not sure if your spark plug is working, you can always plug it in to the cord. Then you need to ground it somehow. I'm gonna ground it here on a muffler. And if you wanna come really, really close, if you give your lawnmower a pull start, you're gonna see that it's gonna spark. So this one is working. So we know that this one is not a fire issue. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that back in. And we've now dealt with the three things that keep a lawnmower running. Fuel, oxygen, and fire. Let's plug it back together. And then you just see it's super cold, not run in a long, long time. We're gonna get it pulled started. One thing is that sea foam may make it smoke a little bit, but that's okay, it's cleaning out. Let's see if it works. I think we got you covered. Okay, moment of truth. The muffler is ice cold. We've done everything. Let's see. One. All right. Well, I hope that helps you out. I know it can be really frustrating when you go out to get your lawnmower out of storage or you've just been using it regularly and all of a sudden it won't start. So check those three things first. If one of those isn't gonna work, 
more than likely you have a carburetor problem. And you can either try to rebuild a carburetor, clean a carburetor, or just buy a new carburetor. But nine times out of 10, doing this is gonna help. And doing that fuel treatment and that starter fluid will also help to clear out some of the debris and whatnot that's in there already. So hope this was helpful. This channel is full of different simple fixes for household glitches, as well as bigger projects and just general tips for around the house. So if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comment box if this worked out for you, or if you're still having trouble with your lawnmower, we can see if there's any other solutions. So again, thanks for watching. And remember all these videos, if I can do it, you can too.